Hello everyone, my name is Piyush and I welcome you to all in this video. So today's topic is why indexing starts with zero in programming languages. As we all know that in programming languages the indexing always starts with zero. For this let us see the basics. Suppose we have given an array of A, B, C, D, E elements and we all know that the indexing starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If someone says you to access the C element, so you will say that the index is 2. If someone says you to access the A element, then you will say that the indexing of A is 0. But one question common arises in mind is that why the indexing starts with 0? Why not 1? So to let's find out this. So we have taken two case, cases for this. This is for indexing starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and for 0 we have index starting from 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So let's do one thing. In this for 1 we have taken indexing starting from 1. Suppose if anyone said you that you have to find the index of this third element. So how will you find it out? The formula for finding the address of this given element is address is equal to base address plus position. So what does position means? Position means this. Uh, we have to find the third this element. So it is the posi position and is at third. So this will the position and into size of the element it will be 2 because it is an integer value we all know that integer is of 2 bytes and float is of 4 bytes so these are this is the array of integer values so we have taken here 2 position is 3 and base address suppose take an example we have taken the base address is as 500 okay we have taken 500 so let's find out the address of this so base address is 500 plus position is third into 2 is equal to 500 plus 6 is equal to 506 so by calculation we have got the addresses as 506 but let's verify it from here so we all know that it is of 2 bytes and the base address is 500 so the first element address will be 500 the second element address will be 502 and the, and the third element address will be 504 so we have taken the position it is third when calculating from this we have got the addresses as 504 but when calculation we have got 506 so this is where the main problem occurs because when we take the indexing as as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There is a change in the address by calculation and by theoretical way. So, th this method will not work of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, let's move on to our and indexing starting from 0 method. So, here we have got the indexes as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, let's do the calculation here also. So, in that case, we will find the element at um, suppose we have taken the second position. Okay. So, we have to find the element here. It is at the second position. So let's do the formula address is equal to base address plus position into integer size means 2. We have taken the base address as here we will also take 500 only. And now address is equal to base address is 500 plus position it is at second 2 into the integer value 2. So this comes as 500 plus 4 is equal to 504. So by calculation we have got the address as 504. Let's verify it by checking in the array elements. So the base address is 500 and integer value is 2. So the first will be 500, zeroth element and the first element will be 502 and the third element we have to find the this. So it will be 504. So as you can all see here, the here is 504 and here it is also 504. So the array element and the address which means theoretical and the calculation method is 
same we have got 504 for second position here we also got 504 but when we take the address sorry indexing as 1 2 3 4 5 we got 504 at this element and 506 in calculation so that's the main reason why we choose the array should start with or any index should start with 0 1 2 3 up to x so i think i think that you must have concluded why should we start with 0 and that's all about this topic i think you all have understood it so if you like the video please do share and like it thank you very much